station. News for Jax starts now. For the first time, we're seeing new video of another incident at the jail involving Myra Martinez and Jacksonville police. Within the last half hour, the state attorney's office has fired back, responding to this new video. The I-team first told you about the video yesterday after prosecutors gave a report to News 4 Jax explaining why they cannot charge the former officers seen punching Martinez with a felony. And for the first time, we're also hearing from that former officer, Akinyemi Borsati. Tonight, Martinez's lawyer is calling for an independent investigation and calling on the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to look into the sheriff's office. Yeah, we have team coverage tonight. The I-team's Lindsey Gardner is going through interviews with Boris Sadi and another officer who was there when Martinez was arrested. We start with Jim Piggott, who has reaction from Martinez's attorney and the state attorney's office. Jim? You know, this new video is still raising a lot of questions about the tactics and the techniques that are actually used at the jail. And in this video, we actually see six officers taking down Martinez. That happened after she was punched by Officer Borisati a little bit earlier in the day out in the Sally Port. Now, because of this and everything else that has happened, her attorney john phillips is now calling for a special prosecutor in this case he also wants to see the fdle get involved and the justice department and this is why the new video starts with myra martinez standing in the hallway it's here where we're told the corrections officer asked her to remove her nose and belly button piercing her attorney says she can't remove that without a doctor so she's told to go to the restroom and strip she does and then she throws her clothes on the floor he says aggressively at this point in the video you can see a female correction officer grab martinez by the hair and take her to the ground Following that, five male officers enter the room while Martinez is still naked to break up the confrontation. Eventually, they're able to subdue her. This is the third video we've seen of Martinez. The first was released by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and shows Officer Borsati punching her several times at the jail sally port. He was fired for this, but only charged with the misdemeanor. The second video was taken when this started at the strip club where Martinez was arrested. Dash cam video shows her on the ground fighting with and being hit by Borisati and a second officer. All of this is troubling for her attorney. We are asking for a special prosecutor to take over this case. Um, we are going to make that application to the governor today. Uh, we think that given the issues, given that there is an election, given that things are getting caught up in an election where you have public officials of this town going after each other instead of doing what they need to be doing, that it's time for a special prosecutor to come in. Uh, we are also asking for the, the FDLE and the Department of Justice to take a look. You know, Attorney John Phillips had a lot of concerns, particularly about the report that we brought to you yesterday from the state attorney's office that talked about uh, Martinez's mental illnesses and other problems. He says that should not have been released. So today, the state attorney's office again was able to respond. Now, Rich Manti, just a few minutes ago, was asked a question about why release that personal information about Martinez. Here's what he said. Well, anytime we're having to assess the relative credibility of any witness, uh, be that the defendant, be that any other witness in the case, victim or otherwise, all those things are relevant. We have to take all that into account and, and a lot of other things as well, but we don't get to ignore it or not not mention it. Those are written internal documents. They are our justifications for what we're doing, but it's not as though that stuff is irrelevant. A jury, if the case were to go to trial, would be instructed that they can consider all those things. Now, coming up on note six, I'm going to show you through our crime and safety expert the procedures that the officers followed in this latest video. Was that proper procedure? They'll talk about that. For now, we're live at the jail, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And for the first time, we're hearing from that now fired officer, Akinyemi Borsati. Attorney John Phillips released Borsati's interview with the Sheriff's Office Integrity Unit, recorded within hours of the altercation. I-team investigator Lindsay Gardner combed through that 40-minute recording for us. Lindsay. Well, Mary Borisati is seen crying and soft-spoken as he answers the questions. We learned that the 26-year-old had been on the job for only two months. He also waived his right to an attorney and answered questions from JSO's integrity unit willingly, saying he was fearful of losing his job as he tried to explain why he punched a handcuffed Myra Martinez at least three times with a closed fist. We're in the academy that they 
allow us to punch uh, suspects that are handcuffed. I mean, at that point, she's physically and actively, actively resisting. Okay, if you're saying she tried to kick you, which is what you said, right? She didn't try to, she did. Okay, so she kicks you. And your response is you ball a fist up and you punch her three times in the stomach. What part of that is falls under JSO protocol? I mean, we have takedown procedures, right? If she's using her legs. Would you agree with that? When we deal with intoxicated, mentally ill, people of that nature, they'll do things to kind of, you know, f us off. But what we have to do is we have to remain above them. This afternoon, JSO Under Sheriff Pat Ivey released this statement saying the video released today is not yet public record through JSO because that investigation is ongoing. Ivey says no other officers involved had any criminal wrongdoing, but they are looking at administrative policies and procedures. Coming up, all new at 6, I'm going to have much more from Borisati's interview, as well as the interview with his uh, co-officer there at the arrest site. And we'll tell you why, we'll let Borisati tell you in his own words, why he feels like he did the right thing in the heat of the moment because Mark Martinez was a woman.